Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be talking about the MS in Accounting program at the University of New Haven. And thank you for your interest in the program. My name is Renee Schmiel. I'm joined by Michael Rolleri, who is the director of the program. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Tell us about your background. Well, I'm a CPA. I've been a CPA for almost 40 years. Um, I um, have an MBA um, from UConn, actually. Um, I've been a CPA in Connecticut for almost 40 years as well. Um, I started with Arthur Anderson and Company in Hartford, which was one of the big eight at the time. Now it's the big four. And um, I've been teaching for over 30 years at the university. Wonderful. And we're going to be talking about why an MS in accounting is so important. Um, the program features 12 courses. Tell us a little bit about what courses students can take. Um, well, the MS accounting is, is pure accounting. It's, uh, it's 10 or 12 accounting courses, depending on the student's uh, undergraduate background. Um, the, um, the courses are um, in, uh, there, there are required courses in um, financial accounting, in auditing, and um, financial statement analysis. Uh, there's also three concentrations the students can, can choose from. There's a uh, corporate accounting concentration, uh, forensic concentration, and um, taxation concentration. So the students have the option of, um, of specializing in a, in a particular area depending on their career goals. Excellent. And why do an MS in accounting versus, say, an MBA? Well, the MBA is a general business degree. It's designed um, for students that uh, primarily want to become managers. Um, the, um, the MBA um, has some, con uh, some courses that the students can take to concentrate in a particular field, but it's only several courses. The um, MS in accounting gives the student the ability to, um, to take 10 or 12 um, just accounting or tax or forensic accounting uh, courses. And say I'm a student uh, thinking about uh, enrolling in this program, what are some of the benefits to that? What, how can it help me become a better job candidate or help me in my career? Um, companies and accounting firms are, are looking um, for students with um, advanced accounting backgrounds. Um, the accounting field will continue to grow in the next 10 to 15 years. The, um, the student that has the MS in accounting is going to have an edge over students that do not. Um, it also enables the student to obtain the 150 hour credit hours needed to become licensed CPAs in most states. Excellent. And do I have to have a background in accounting, say an undergraduate degree in accounting, to enroll in this program? No, it really doesn't matter what your undergraduate major is. Um, which is the nice thing about this program. Um, if you uh, have had accounting as an undergrad, even if you weren't an accounting major, but you had a course in financial accounting and, and one in cost or managerial accounting, then uh, two of the courses in the MS accounting program would be waivable for you. So instead of taking 12 courses, you would need to take uh, 10. But if somebody was an undergraduate um, liberal arts major, for example, with no accounting background, they, they, would, they would take uh, 12 courses in the program. So it sounds like there's going to be students from different backgrounds. How, how is that helpful? You get a lot of different uh, perspectives. Um, if, you get, if, if we had all undergraduate accounting majors in the program, I think it would actually be kind of dry. Um, but we get, we get students from um, a variety of majors. I have one student that was uh, an IT major undergrad. Um, another student was um, a liberal arts major. So um, th those are the two I can think of at the moment. But um, the diversity in um, undergrad majors, uh, just to me, it just adds to the, to the program. And why the University of New Haven? How can this program help a student prepare for a real world situation? Well, we've been doing it a long time. But we have um, probably one of the old, oldest accounting programs in Connecticut. Um, we have a great faculty. Uh, the faculty in accounting, um, uh, for the most part, have um, 
many years of uh, corporate experience or um, public accounting experience. So we're not purely academics. We, we've, we've worked in the real world and um, we bring that experience into, into our classes. And there are faculty members with diverse backgrounds. What are they experts in? What are some of their backgrounds specifically? Uh, we have um, experts in taxation, financial accounting. Um, uh, we have um, experts uh, in forensic accounting and valuation services. Um, and we also have um, experts that teach the um, uh, legal studies courses. Um, each MS accounting student has to uh, choose a um, legal studies course in either ethics, litigation, uh, fraud schemes, and the law. Um, and we have um, we have uh, experts, uh, legal experts, teaching uh, teaching those courses as well. And just reiterate to me too, just some of the skills that students will develop and some of the things they'll learn in this program. The main skills they'll they'll develop are um, the ability to think like accountants think, um, analytical skills, um, analyzing a problem, pulling it apart, coming up with a solution, which is basically what we do for clients every day. Um, critical thinking skills, um, and also if they, if they uh, specialize in in one of the areas that um, that we have concentrations in, it'll give them an opportunity to become an expert um, in those particular fields. For example, the um, taxation courses they would take, there, there would be um, there would be four taxation courses they would take. Um, it would provide them with the background necessary to um, become um, a tax specialist with an accounting firm or, or a corporation. Excellent. I want to talk a little bit about where students are going to be taking their classes. It's a campus with a bit of a corporate twist. Tell us about that. Yeah, several years ago, um, the university purchased the, um, the old Hubble uh, corporate headquarters in Orange. Um, it's a great place. Um, it, it's got I think there's 40 acres uh, with a pond in front and trees. And, um, it's be beautiful corporate offices that have been converted into uh, classrooms. So um, when the student takes classes there, they're, they're basically taking classes in an environment that they will probably be working in someday. If they get a corporate job or job in, a, in an accounting firm. It certainly is a beautiful campus. Um, what's next? They am interested in this program. What can I do next to, to contact you and learn more? Well, you can contact me personally. Um, you can email me. You can, um, you can apply. You go through the uh, university application process. And um, again, if you have any, any questions, uh, we'll, be, we'll be happy to uh, talk to you, answer your questions. and give you any other information that, that you need. Maybe come by and visit the campus. Yep, that's always a good idea. See where, you, where you're uh, going to be taking your classes. Um, so we're, uh, you know, we're, we're next, we're, we're, we're by the phones. <laughs> if, if, uh, if they want to contact, if the student wants to contact us. And we have all that contact information here and on our website. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.